Did you know that time runs slower near a massive object like a black hole? Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's true. Welcome to our channel, where today we'll explore the fascinating concept of how gravity can actually bend time. Let's start with the basics. Time dilation is a difference in the passage of time as experienced by observers in different situations. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time can speed up or slow down depending on your speed or gravity's pull. When it comes to gravity, things get even more interesting. Einstein's general theory of relativity changed how we understand gravity. Instead of thinking of it as a force, think of it as a curvature of space-time caused by mass. Imagine space-time as a stretchy fabric. When you place a heavy ball on it, the fabric bends. This bending is what we experience as gravity. The heavier the object, the more it bends space-time. Now, how does this bending affect time? Here's the fascinating part. In a gravitational field, time runs slower the closer you are to the source of gravity. This phenomenon is known as gravitational time dilation. But why does this happen? Let's break it down. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, massive objects like Earth warp the fabric of space-time. This curvature affects how time flows. Imagine space-time as a stretchy fabric. Placing a heavy ball, like Earth, on this fabric creates a dip or curve. Now, time is like a rocket moving through this fabric. Imagine a rocket moving away from Earth. When it's close to Earth, the rocket's speed is low due to the strong gravitational pull. But as it moves further away, escaping the gravitational influence, it speeds up. Now, think of time like the speed of the rocket. Close to a massive object like Earth, where gravity is strong, time runs slower, similar to the rocket moving slowly. As you move further away from the massive object, where gravity weakens, time speeds up, just like the rocket gaining speed. This curvature of space-time means that clocks closer to a massive object, like Earth, experience more curvature and thus, time flows slower for them. The stronger the gravity, the more pronounced the effect. This can also explain how speed changes the passage of time. To get a bit more technical, the closer you are to a massive object, the stronger the gravitational field you experience. This stronger gravitational field affects the rate at which time passes. In regions of strong gravity, such as near a planet or a star, time ticks slower compared to regions of weak gravity, like deep space. This is why a clock on a satellite in orbit, where gravity is weaker, ticks faster than a clock on Earth's surface. In extreme cases, like near a black hole, the gravitational pull is so intense that time nearly comes to a standstill. If you were to watch someone falling into a black hole, you'd see their clock slow down and eventually stop as they approach the event horizon. You might wonder if this affects our everyday lives. The answer is yes. For example, GPS satellites orbiting the Earth experience weaker gravity compared to us on the surface. Their clocks tick slightly faster. So, to sum up, gravity doesn't just pull on objects, it pulls on time itself. The stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. It's a mind-bending concept that shows just how strange and wonderful our universe is.